We were saying earlier, perfect weather in Hampton Roads, and only one thing could make it better, a homecoming. And that's what happened today at Naval Station Norfolk. The USS Jason Dunham returned after a seven-month deployment. Down here side's Walter Hildebrand takes us to the pier. On a picture-perfect day, friends and loved ones packed Pier 5 for a long-awaited homecoming. It's amazing. There really are no words. That this is the best, the best day ever. While some kids cheered, others kicked back, waiting to get reacquainted with Dad. He's going to see how big the girls are, and we got a new puppy, so he gets to train that when he gets home. But after seven months, there's a lot of reacquainting waiting to happen. When my husband left, he was like barely crawling. He was doing the army crawl, and now he's walking, so I'm excited for him to run up to the pier to see his dad. As the USS Jason Dunham made its way into port, the crowd went wild. That's Laura Welch. She has two kids on the USS Dunham, but before any reunions took place, little Annabella Jacobs got the first kiss, or in this case, the first hug. It's been a long wait. It's always hard, but of course, you know, seven months, long time to wait. And a long deployment. We uh, got underway just after a blizzard in January and departed and went down to the Caribbean. And from there, we sailed over to the Mediterranean, then the Black Sea, the North Sea, and then into the Baltic to operate with our NATO allies. The commander says his 327 sailors made him proud on this mission. Meanwhile, all those reunions took place. Leaving, he couldn't walk, and then coming back, seeing him able to walk, and I mean, it's amazing. Laura Welch finally got to see her kids. It's um, a long time coming, and it's the last deployment for both of my children, so. Welcome home, USS Dunham. At Naval Station Norfolk, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side.